Welcome back everybody. Let's go ahead and begin our look into the literature of the Enlightenment with some readings from an essay on man by Alexander Pope. And you'll remember from the period overview, one of the, the characteristics of literature of this time involves following conventions. When we talk about conventions, we're talking about rules. Um, there's a lot of rigidity during the Enlightenment, and it's reflected in the period literature. It's always important to remember that literature is a reflection of the times and the society in which it was created. And one of the conventions that's easy to see in an essay on man is the heroic couplet. So what happens with the heroic couplet, you'll notice that the lines of text, right, they end, and then that rhyme matches the following line. For example, things, kings, supply, die. So what this does, this use of the heroic couplet, it kind of interlocks everything, keeps it really gives a, the, the reading a really crisp pace to it. And it's, it's one of the, 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 the rules, the conventions that poetry of this time followed. So let's go ahead and begin taking a look here, diving in to some of the readings from an essay on man. And if you haven't gone through and read, please do so. Um, never approach the lecture videos cold. You always want to warm up with a reading on your own. And as we go through and we talk about and touch upon some of the different ideas in the text, annotate, highlight, take notes. So that way when you're writing a paper, making a, a forum posting, studying for an exam, you'll have a, a living text, right? There'll be, you know, all of that content there as opposed just to the, the printed words on the page. Awake my Saint Jean, leave all meaner things to low ambition and the pride of kings. Let us, since life can little more supply than just to look about us and to die, expatiate free o'er all the scene of man, a mighty maze, but not without a plan. So what is the Pope talking about here? He's talking about life, right? What is life? At times it seems that, that life is a puzzle, right? When we look at it, it's, you know, it doesn't seem to have any, any order to it, just like a mystery, it's a mighty maze. But Pope is telling us, that this is not the case. It does have a plan. Together let us beat this ample field, try what the open, what the covert yield. The latent tracks, the giddy heights explore of all who blindly creep or sightless soar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through life and we're gonna kind of investigate it. We're gonna see what it holds to unlock this plan. Right? It seems not to have a plan, but it does. So that's what we're doing here. The Pope's letting us know that this is our purpose here in writing. I nature's walks shoot folly as it flies and catch the manners living as they rise. Laugh where we must, be candid where we can, but vindicate the ways of God to man. Vindicate, to justify, to explain, right? So a lot of human beings, right, have always said, why is life as it is, right? So what Pope is going to do is explain to vindicate the ways of God to man. And this in itself, this is a, you know, a really lofty goal. Uh, this is a really high idea to have for a, a, a work of literature is to explain, right, the divine plan for humanity. Say first of God above or man below, what can we reason but from what we know? Of man, what we see, but his station here, from which to reason or which to refer. Through worlds unnumbered, though the God be known, tis ours to trace him only in our own. 
what do we see here? We see an overarching view of things, right? What do we know about the ultimate, the absolute? What do we know about God? Well, what we know, right, is our place, our station. We don't know the whole, we just know a little piece, a little fraction of the whole. He who through vast immensity can pierce See worlds on worlds compose one universe. Observe how system into system runs, what other planets circle other suns. Right? Wow, look at that. It's, it's a little astronomy lesson here. This is a reflection, brings in some of the improvements that were being made to the telescope during this time and the discovery of a new planet, right? Discovering new, new stars, new suns. All this new knowledge is coming about during the Enlightenment, all these technological advancements, and it's being tied in by Pope into an essay on man. What varied peoples, every star, may tell why heaven has made us as we are. But of this frame, the bearings and the ties, the strong connections, nice dependencies, gradations just, has thy pervading soul looked through? Or can a part contain the whole? Is the great chain that draws all to agree and drawn supports upheld by God or thee? Now, what do we see here? We see the great chain of being. Now, the, the great chain of being, this idea was not new to the Enlightenment. They reached back right, reached back into the classics, right? Ancient Greece discovered this idea. Remember that one of the other terms for the Enlightenment is neoclassicism. That's a good, uh, that's a good way to kind of understand what's going on. Neo, new classics, new classics, reaching back. So what the, the great chain of being, what this idea held is that there was, of course, it's not a, a, a real, chain, but an imagined order from the divine, right, all the way down to the material, the, you know, the, the non-living mineral things. And of course, in there, there's the immortal beings, right, there's an angels, angelic beings, and demons, and humanity, we have our place right underneath that on the chain and below that there's animals and below that plants and so everything right the chain all those those different links are connected and when you look into the chain of humanity of human beings right it's further developed there's kings and then nobilities right the, the nobles and then the upper class the middle class the lower class working class right all those all those different links in the chain. Now, look at some of the descriptors for the great chain of being that we get from Pope. Strong connections, right? So that this, this chain is strong, not meant to be broken. Nice dependencies. This is an interesting idea. Nice dependencies. This interlinking, right? realizing that where you are in society, it's nice. Now, a lot of people, when they, they hear about the great chain of being and they think about it, they say, I really don't like being, you know, fixed into my place, my position, my station, right? I want to better myself and have a better life and rise up and the, the social pyramid. But what we're seeing here is that this is a, a good plan, the great chain of being. Reason being is that every level of society is important. Think about uh, a job that many people, you know, turn their nose up or make degrading comments about, which would be, you know, people who stop and collect your trash and haul it off. Could you imagine what what day-to-day -day life would be like without the admirable work 
that those people do, right? Some, something so, as simple as collecting trash is really important to having a functioning society, right? Wow, nice dependencies. So the people in the upper classes are dependent upon the people in the lower classes, just like people in the lower classes are dependent upon the people in the upper class for ruling and laws and taking care of them, right? So all of these, all these different links in the chain, right? This, these nice dependencies, we're all interdependent upon each other. We're all linked together in this chain. Gradations just. This idea that we see of society having gradations. Some people are more important than others. Yes, this is true. Those dependencies are nice and just. Can a part contain a whole? No, that's impossible. <coughs> Excuse me. For one part to contain a whole. Is the great chain that draws all to agree and the drawn supports upheld by God or thee? So the, the great chain of being, right, this plan, right, this is, this is from God. It's not upheld by human beings. So, well, in the next lecture, we'll keep on diving through Essay on Man, some more readings, learn more about the Great Chain of Being. <laughs>